Hey, y'all. Uh, I am Renee Holder, Two Chatty Chicks, and decided to, uh, Joy had said that if I wanted to, I could pop on a little early. So, uh, I'm going to try to get my iPad set up. I had a little difficulty last night, and there we are. It is live, so that's good. Okay. Um... Uh, not that I will really take a lot of time to answer any of the questions. I will probably do that later. It just kind of helps me to see what's going on. Um, of course, there's a little bit of a lag. But um, anyway, we are here to do some... Hey, Joy, I really want to thank you and your group for having me here. I really enjoy teaching very much, so it's a pleasure. Uh, <clears throat> but we're going to be talking about encaustic painting and it is done with wax and this is a very ancient um, art form from dates way back even to the Greeks um, I was gonna get the date and I forgot but I have it in a post that I did but <clears throat> back in the faux finishing days whenever I was doing that professionally I would probably say 25 years ago it was very popular but it was very toxic Boy, my iPad is literally going crazy over here. But um, that's what I get for having a four-year-old that controls my iPad. <laughs> um, but whenever we were doing it back in the day, we had to wear the full mask. I mean, with respirator and all because it was very toxic. So that was something I felt I really didn't want to get into. And whenever I saw a makers Amy Howard's uh, kit I just I just jumped all over it because it's something that I really enjoyed kind of playing with back then but um, I've got a lot of ideas and as y'all have seen in the photos these are two that I have created and as you can see here uh, I don't mind the raw wood showing through I think it adds character and um, then I went in with this one with the blue and some of the white on the black. And I wished I would have thought and drug out because as I was do, setting up, I had another thought. But it, I will kind of pass that along to y'all, and y'all can play with it. Uh, I do sell gold leaf and silver leaf. Um, but I was thinking, you know, in the process, if you add it, let gold leaf or silver leaf drop down into this, that would be so cool. But anyway, maybe we'll do that later. Um, the Whenever you get the kit, you get quite a bit in the kit, and you get... Um, one of these right here, and I haven't. I left this, but you know, this is kind of a two-in-one because you can do this side, and then you could flip it over and do something on this side, and you could hang it with a rope. I think that would really be cute. Uh, that way you could utilize both sides, but I would have a hard time turning that away from that. I think that's really pretty. Um, so I'll just leave those there. And uh, at the end, I will show y'all a couple of other things for the other lives that I'm going to be coming back and doing to kind of tease you just a little bit. Um, and you get enough in the kit to, oh gosh, uh, probably do two or three, and then you would still have pigment left over because these are the little containers that your pigment comes in, and I mean, this stuff is strong. It's really true pigment. I was very impressed uh, because, you know, pigments is something that in uh, faux finishing we used a lot, so I'm, I'm very impressed. Now, if you order any of the larger pigments, I mean, look at that. Look how much is in there. That's a lot. That lasts forever. And look at the color. Hmm. Uh, we used to, it was a different type of wax, but we've done wall finishes with a different wax, and we would add pigment, and it was just absolutely gorgeous. But her color, she's got an array of colors, and of course I tried to order just one, but that didn't work. 
So, and then of course you have the, uh, the wax that you use. And I had one opened and I couldn't find it, so I had to open up another one. And then you get the transfer. And y'all, I have used this, hmm, I don't know, probably 10 times already. And uh, that is phenomenal. The main thing is to make sure that you clean it really well uh, and to get everything out of the screen. <clears throat> and I've kind of got some ideas that I wanted to share with y'all about using. But first, uh, in your kit, you get these little tins that you're going to melt your wax in. Okay, your wax is going to come like this. And <clears throat> I thought, okay, as many different colors as I'm going to want to play with, I'm going to need more than what they sent in the kit. So I went on the hunt and I found these. You f they have the plastic on the top, but... Um, at the Dollar Tree, and I believe there are two in a package, so that's 50 cents a piece, you know? And what I do with them as well is I take the lid off and I set it aside, and if I'm melting the wax, and I put a clothespin, okay? And that what I used to melt my wax in was just an old electric skillet that I knew I was not ever gonna use again. And uh, you just, I'll show y'all, then whenever I get the wax and my powder pigment, I just set it in here and it melts it. But these are handy dandy little things right here. And then whenever I have, uh, I had some wax left over, so I just put it in here. And once it cooled, then I could put this lid back on it like that. And also, at the Dollar Tree, I would have um, a little bit of wax. Well, I don't want to throw it away because I can always use it somewhere else uh, in another design. So, I also get these at the Dollar Tree. And I, I think there's four to a package. So, and the lid really snaps on really well. So, if I have small amounts of wax, see, I can just put that in there. Um, the Dollar Tree, you'd be surprised what I find there that I can use. <laughs> so, those are great things that uh, I found out and discovered. And I, um, I have already, and what I kind of am going to try to do is like a cooking deal. I've already done one in the black. I was going to switch it up, and I thought, no, a lot of times whenever... Uh, you've shown the sample. That's really what everybody wants to see. So I'm going to do that uh, first. And uh, then I have another board here that I thought maybe if we wanted to, we could play with. So um, I dropped my one board and cracked it, so I made me one up real quick. Um, and I thought, you know, for something a little different, uh, because, you know, your wax, as you as it's hot, it's going to be hot and melted whenever you put it on here. And, I, and you'll see that in just a minute. I thought, you know, I may not want it to soak in to the wood. Because what this wood is, the, and that comes in your kit, it's, um, I knew I would do that. <laughs> it's birch, okay? It's just birch panels. And it's really thin like this. So... I keep these because I use them in my teaching classes. And what I do is I have them cut them for me at Home Depot. And then I come home and I hit the edges with my sander. And then uh, I thought, you know what, this would make a great uh, sample board to do the wax on. But as you can see, that's raw. So I thought, okay, if you really didn't want your wood uh, the underneath to show, or if you didn't want your wax to soak in so much, you could do one of two things. You could use a wood conditioner on it, or, and then that would be clear, and you would still get the wood look underneath if you wanted to let some of that show through, or you could paint it. So that's what I did. I put just one coat of paint on there, and it uh, doesn't matter what paint, you know. Um, I wouldn't use an expensive paint, just something that... Um, 
is inexpensive because it's going to be covered up. It's not going to matter, but you could leave some showing through. And, you know, I was talking about the gold leaf. You could actually put a little bit of size down in areas. Put your gold leaf down once the size was ready and then put your wax around it and let the gold leaf shine through. That would be an, uh, an option as well as to whenever your wax was hot of letting it fall as well. So that's two different options. Just something to play with. And <clears throat> whenever your wax is melted and you're putting it on your um, piece, you can, once it sets up, you can use different tools like this right here to leave impressions in it. Uh, I've used this, and I'll use that tonight. An old potato masher. Um, this is one of the old wood graining tools from back in the day that really leaves a cool impression, and I kind of use it all of these tools as a mixed media. Now, um, a lot of people say that, you know, you need to do this on a flat wood surface. Me, I kind of push the envelope myself. I want to do this on a large canvas because if I have a piece of furniture, um, then I could create a canvas to coincide with a piece of furniture I think and it would be so cool and it doesn't matter that it's gonna because if it's hanging on a wall no one's really going to be messing with it to cause the wax to break and your wax never really gets hard like we think wax is it stays soft so um you want to keep that in mind and you know what I even thought about these you could take and pull these out and that would leave a really neat impression on your wax. And uh, these are little tools that I am out of these, but I sell a lot of these. Um, but people really like the brushes as well for painting, but this would leave a really neat um, impression. And I can't find them. I have these they go on here and they are squiggly. They have different designs and I have used this before as well. And I've used those on raw wood to get kind of a cool finish. But it just kind of goes to show you that there's a lot of different ways that you can make impressions in the wax once you get it down. So I wanted to cover all of that first so that I wasn't jumping all around once we started with the wax. So, uh, and once I turn the camera down, because I want y'all to see everything I'm doing down here. So I want to make sure I've covered everything. Oh, and your brushes. Um, whenever you're through to clean them, just put them in mineral spirits and it'll take all the wax out. But then I keep them in a plastic bag and I keep them with all of my wax stuff. That way, I know it's not going to mixed up, get mixed up in with my painting. Oh, and a glass. Um, I had this here. I've used their etching kit, uh, a maker's etching kit, and it's, it really works well. But I was doing some the other day, and I took the glass and kind of pushed it down, and then I had a different size glass, and I made different size circles all over, and it really turned out cool. I don't have that one here to show you, but... I did set the glass down because I wanted to be sure and share that with you. And then you get this that comes in the kit, which is very cool. It leaves a very distinct mark. And whenever you uh, use your transfer, um, you're going to be using your wax uh, to go through this. And something else I almost forgot until I reached for that. Um, I know that y'all seen some of the stamps. And I'm going to be carrying some different stamps and some stencils too, y'all, soon. Um, and this is one of the new stamps. These, I will take this and I'll push it into the wax tonight so y'all can see. 
And then something like these would be very cool too, you know. And and to keep in mind that um, to me, this is a mixed media effect. So there's nothing that you have to be precise about. You mix it up any way you can think of to mix it up. So that way, if you make a mistake, no one's ever going to know. You can just say, you know, it's supposed to be that way. I've I done that on purpose. So, okay. Um, and I think that is everything. Oh, and to spread the wax. I can show you all that once we, I need to get my uh, plate on so it can start getting hot. And I am going to go ahead and and since I do not, oh, and I have got a shadow. I don't like that. Okay, maybe that will take care of that some. Uh, one of my lights uh, gave me disaster today and let me get around here. And I think that will hopefully take care of that, at least part of it. You know, technology sometimes can just about drive you insane. And I don't think that's going to help either. But I'm going to have to work on that, y'all. So for that, I am sorry because I'm very picky about my lighting. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show y'all, even though I have some in here already. I just take my wax. And y'all, it doesn't take a whole lot to do this. But the thing I like is, because of the containers that I have, even if I mix up too much and don't use it all, I have a place to store it for later. I like that. See, and that is some blue that I had mixed up that um, I didn't want to waste either. So, I'll move this hot plate over here. Set that in there. And I keep my, um, sorry, y'all, I'm really thirsty today. I stay thirsty anymore. Um, I usually put my pigments into a paper plate because I don't care how careful you are, you're going to spill it. And then whenever I'm through, I can take and I can put it back into my container. And this is another Dollar Tree. I use them and use them until there's nothing left. <laughs> um, and as you can see, it doesn't take long. I've got this set on about 300. Actually, I could turn it, yeah, it's about 300. I could turn it a little under. Ooh. And if I get it in there, it's not gonna matter. See, that's already melted. So I'm gonna move that off. And I still always just go ahead and turn mine off because it does not take long to heat it up for the next process. So, and these little boards come in really handy to set that hot stuff on because this is a wallpaper liner here so it would melt it. So this came in perfect. And I, uh, you can see I'm not using that much powder pigment okay and you just stir it in and I know me I always and look this is still almost half full and I've done about four five of these so that is how far that goes okay and then I'm just going to take my chip brush. And you kind of, it needs to get just a little cool. Boy, that, that brush, brush has got wax in it. It's hard as a rock. 
Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and start because it will get cold pretty quick. And some will take and do an even swoop and do it that way. Me, I like the unevenness. I like the texture. Um, so really, it just depends on what you want it to look like whenever you're finished. And hey, if you do something and you don't like it, all you have to do is get your blow dryer out, hold it up, and it will remelt it, and you can do whatever. So, uh, there are no mistakes. And see how that's already setting up? And you know what? I don't care that that was showing. Oh, and something else. I just happened to look up. Um, these, of course, I, I sew as well. And um, this little baby, I haven't used it in a long time. And I thought, oh my goodness, that would be cool to maybe scoop up different colors and push it and run it across, make lines with the heat of this. So just something else to think about. Uh, I happened to pick that up at a flea market for a rather good deal because they're not cheap. And I just want to, to get y'all started on this one, and then we'll pull the, the one that I've already got done that's waiting, and we will go on to the next color. You know, I probably should have done three of these, but we'll get her done. And y'all, these are out of stock. Um, they really are going fast so if y'all are interested uh, I will put the link in and I'll keep y'all posted and uh, let Joy know and uh, if y'all have any questions afterwards I'll do my best to answer and also uh, I know Joy has already told y'all that if you buy the kits well then I put you in a group that's um, no charge and you know I'll come and I, I want it to be where everyone will share their ideas and um, and that's how we grow and that's I don't mind I love coming on here and I'm really glad that uh, it's almost like I know joy and I've never met her <laughs> so I think that's really the cool thing about Facebook and um, people that uh, want to share I had someone tell me one time that, um, of course, now, yes, my back in my faux days, I paid dearly for my uh, education. A lot of our classes ran $25 to $3,000 for the week. But then there's people that have shared with me their knowledge, and they didn't have to. And if they hadn't have shared that, then I wouldn't know some of the things that I know. So that's kind of why I try to pay it forward. So y'all can see about how far that went. I did not use very much wax at all. So that's a good way to kind of see how far that goes. And you know, you could even pounce it however you want it to go on. Uh, I would probably go ahead and melt a little more and go ahead and add some more to this right here. But you can see how that's already setting up. Okay, I really wish I could see what y'all were saying, but my iPad is just not going to cooperate. But I like the uh, unevenness of it uh, and not being completely smooth. But you know what? If you want it completely smooth, that's okay too. You can, um, you know what? These little things are gem dandy. Uh, you get these at uh, Harbor Freight, and I cut them in two, and you can take and smooth it out. You can use a trowel. Uh, you could use uh, the thing that comes in your kit. I don't know. I don't think that would work too well. Or you can use a credit card or a room key that you forgot to turn in. <laughs> so, 
I think everybody has one of those at one time or another. So I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and melt just a little bit. Just in case I wanted to do a In the meantime, I'm going to set that there. And you can see this is one that I have done on the bigger piece here. And right here, okay, I had a piece of wax that didn't completely melt. Oh, for some reason, my phone is not charging, y'all. Hang on. Okay, if y'all lose me, you will know why. I think I have it in now. So, um, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me that it's like that. And you can see here, I uh, have got some of the board showing. But that's okay. Because you know what? I'm going to put another color on here. And... So that y'all can see what the one that is in the um, sample looks like. And see y'all, I'm not adding any more pigment to that right there. That's <clears throat> left over. And it's already melted. So I will set this right here. And go ahead and, and show y'all that, that I added no more pigment to that. Didn't have to. So, and that's just how quick it gets, it, it will melt for you. And I turned it back on 300. It doesn't take any time at all. See, and if you want to uh, do it that way, you can. As far as like brushing it on there's just so much actually that you could do with this so I am going to set this over here and okay now I think see I am very messy And it's like I tell myself I'm not going to do that, but I, I end up doing it anyway, but that's okay. All right. Um, let's see. I really... All right. Now, uh, we're going to do white so y'all can see the drastic change. Um... And y'all, I'm really not measuring this. As you can see. And the toothpick. And I'm going to... I think that one's cool enough. I'm going to move it over here. Go ahead and set that in there. We're going to do white. Y'all, I can't keep enough stir sticks around. Those things are so handy for so many different things. Now, the white, I want it to be strong, so I'm going to put two little dabs of the white. And like I said, I always go ahead and put my lid on because I know what I know me. And you know what? Here's one that I've used that has blue in it, but I have one that doesn't, but uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to use that one and just see what happens so that y'all can see. Boy, I'm telling you, this has made me hot. This pan. Ah, 
the other night I was doing a live and I was asking questions and my husband said at later he, he had walked by and he said you you're talking to them like they're they can answer you and I said well I said they are I just can't see it right now but I said I will all right see doesn't take long at all I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off okay now let's Okay, I'm going to, there's a piece that hadn't melted. Y'all can see there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. The thing is to just play however, you know, I may not want much on here. So I'm going to stop with that. And see what it's doing. I love it. Okay. And you don't have to go in the same direction. You can mix it up. You can pull it off. And what this is doing is it's melting the black that is on there so it's just and you can let it down i don't have another clean one here this has got some but it's not going to matter i'm just going to take and scrape that off because you know what i can use that later and then there's spots i'm not going to want it to be heavy See, I like, see that right there? This, I don't mind that. It gives it a little bit of character. So y'all can see how far this goes. And say I didn't like this. I could literally take my hair dryer and heat it and I would get a completely different look. Okay, I kind of like what I have going on. So I'm gonna lay it down this way. I was pulling all, so all along I've been pulling with the tight edge and I've, I've put some, quite a bit of pressure. But now I'm gonna go for smooth. I'm gonna smooth out so I've got it all the way down on my, and like I say, other people may completely do it different, and the more you play with it, there's going to be ways that you come up with creating a certain look that's going to be totally different than anyone else. Okay, I kind of want to pull some in areas. Okay, you know what? I like what I have there. So I'm gonna stop. Now, if I wanted to heat that up, I could, and I could take, but you know what? I don't have to. That slipped on me right there, but that's okay, because you can see that it left marks in there, and that's, that's great. And the deal that comes in, you can take, and pull see and you can make wavy marks just like what i did right there okay or you could skip over here you could skip over here and let's see let's do the glass oh i like this 
I hope that y'all can see the impression that uh, I'm getting there. Okay, here is one here, right here. Actually, I'm really liking how this is coming out. Okay. And stamp. Let's see what we get with this stamp. I may have let it gotten too hard. Now, the thing is, with the wax, I may have to... Yes, I've let it get too hard. But you know what? If I wanted to soften that up, and if, especially if it's a light color, uh, the dark is not going to show up as much. But if this was more white, then I think this would show up. But you're going to have to make sure that you really clean these before or to keep them separate with only using them in this. So, because of the wax. And let's see. Now, I'm not going to All right, do this. I'm do it through with these for right now, so I'm going to move them out of my way. Now, whenever I'm going to put my transfer on, I'm not going to just be, you know, right in place. I'm going to set it like this first. And I may not do all the way over. I'm just going to do a small area right there. Sometimes I let a lot go through. And sometimes I don't. It just depends on if I'm wanting the faint look or if I'm wanting... Um, a really deep, I want it to really pick it up. Okay, you can see that right there is all I'm going to do there. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I say that too much. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this right here. And I'm laying it on pretty thick, but I'm pulling a lot of that off. So, again, this, their wax uh, goes a long way as well. And I am going to put quite a bit. I want this to be a big section here. Oh, yes. I like. Okay. And you know what? You could mix up several of the uh, transfers. You don't have to stick with the same one. You could use something else. Okay. If I would have thought, I would have pulled another one out to do that, and I didn't think about it. And I think that's all I'm going to do with that. And I have a pan like this, but uh, I also use hot water heater containers. And I filled up the plug, and then I just put it in with water, and then I really clean it really well to get all of that wax out of the silk screen transfer. Oh. 
You know what? I don't know. Let me check something right quick. I want to see something. Okay, I know that this is all about the A Maker kit, but sometimes I cannot help myself. <laughs> um, I'm going to be introducing a line of stencils. And so if you done this and you wanted something over this, uh, this is going to be, it's an elephant. Isn't that the coolest thing? I am very much about multi-layering um, because I absolutely love uh, mixed media. And you know, you're really not seeing a whole lot of that. You are, but um, not like what we used to. And I want some silver. If I can get it open. Joy, I hope you don't mind me sharing this. <laughs> um, and what I'm doing is I am um, trying to start taking pre-orders for a lot of things. Because as y'all well know, you can stick a lot of money in stock. Oh my goodness, that was difficult to get into. Wow. Okay. Y'all, this is exciting. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't, I can't use any adhesive to spray to hold this down, so I'm going to be very gentle. And you know what? It's not going to matter, I don't think, if. I get a hundred percent. If I just get the outline, oh, and it's hard not to peek. Are y'all that way? I'm horrible. And I tell myself, you shouldn't do that. Don't peek. Don't lift it because you're going to mess it up. Um, and see, some of it is coming off, even though I've been over it, but that's okay. Um, very light here very very light and then i'm going to pull it off if it'll just leave a sheen and you know what i think this area here will give me the look that it needs but i'm trying to find things that not everyone has. I'm trying to think of different things to do, and I'm just so glad that I met um, Joy. Maybe someday we can meet in person. I hope. And you know what? This is really, I was thinking this might take quite a bit, but it's not. Um, because again, I'm just more or less kind of leaving. I got to look. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You know, it's bad whenever you get that excited over paint. But. I know that was the biggest thrill whenever I was doing finishes and you would come up with a creation and you would um, do a client's house and you finish the wall and you stand back and look at it and you're like, wow. But that work got to be very hard, very strenuous on the body. and very labor intensive. And I y'all, I would have never ever in a million years dreamed that I would be doing lives or teaching. Um, but it has been such a joy. All right. Are y'all ready to reveal? I am. And look, that didn't hardly use any doing that. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
even though it isn't real distinct, you can see it. Is that not cool? I love that on top of uh, the Paris. And because he's not just a regular elephant, he's a fancy elephant. So I love that. I'm going to leave him turned that away. I really, I hope you all like that. I know I do. Mm, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to, and I'll take pictures of all of these and um, post them for Joy and for y'all. And let's see. Let me, I need to get the rest of that off of there. And these are the best little tools. I am out of them. But I will have more in stock soon. Um, let's see. Would y'all like to see some blue? Since I did blue on the other one. Or... Hmm, that blue is pretty. And what did I do with it? Here it is. Okay. You're in. <laughs> hey, I can see a little bit. Finally, <laughs> the iPad decided to all of a sudden come on. Okay, I'm going to turn my heating thing back on. And I need my little board. But you know, too, y'all, these are great if you're uncomfortable at first and you want to practice. Just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and um, they have them in the 2x4 sheets or you can get 4x8s. Me, I use so many of them. I get the 4x8 sheet and I have them cut. Um, I think these are 12x12s. It'll take but a minute for that to. Well, I just about got all my little uh, things full. Oh man, Arthur sure is bad, you know. Oh, here's blue. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Fantastic. Okay. Um. And y'all, I'm still working on my bag that came with my kit. So, and I think that if uh, you done like four sets of these and done them a little different um, for a wall decor, for some for home decor, I think it would be fabulous. I think they would really sell as well. I haven't had time. <laughs> Okay. No waste. All right. And see, I've still got some left. Okay. The blue. You know what? I bet I don't even have to add any pigment to that because of the, um, what's already in there. I think there'll be enough. We shall see. I was trying to think of something that I could, well, I'm going to have to melt these to get the brushes out. And I have to get me some mineral spirits. I am out. But y'all, the roller is really cool. The different rollers and the... Um, Waxes, whenever it's hot, uh, still hot and melted, really gives a great impression. Let's see. Okay. We're just about there. Melted, y'all. Just about there. Huh. Yep. All right. I'm going to put the lid. You know what? Let me see how strong that is. 
And know what would, for these, the smaller ones, um, I don't have one up here, would, but would be the one inch chip brushes for the smaller ones to be perfect. Okay. Yep, I am gonna have to add pigment, but that's okay. I love that blue. See, I'm telling you, you got to make sure, see how messy, uh, and I can scoop that back in there, and see how that melted that. <laughs> but that's okay, you know what, that would be cool, is if you wanted circles, you could do that. See, happy accident. Who would have thought? And that's okay. Doesn't matter that it done that. In fact, I'm gonna put the blue there, and I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the white. we done both of the colors you know who says we can't okay I want to set that back in there because I want to keep that hot Yes, I do like that. I do like that. The blue and the white, very pretty. But, see there? There's no messing up, okay? I just went back in and filled the hole. Perfect. Now, don't want too much white. I'm gonna try and get that all out of that brush. And then I'll clean that tomorrow. I may not, get, oh, I like how that done. Huh. That's almost like a paint pour, it made a sale. I might have to play with that a little bit. Hmm. All right, let's see. I'm gonna set that over here. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I really like that the that I added the blue and the white and I love the holidays that that's giving I love the way that it has caught some of the dark blue in there do and I'm just going to I'm just barely touching where I slung it because I want that strong blue on the top okay I'm ready for this to dry <laughs> and 
course, whenever you're in a hurry and you want it to dry, it's going to take forever. A skull. Yes, I'm on the hunt. <laughs> I am on the hunt for a skull. If that's what you're talking about. A skull for a stencil. Come on, dry. All right, I am going to Blue go. Y'all, I hadn't forgot you. I'm just really wanting this to do what I'm wanting it to do because whenever you lay over this, that is really not going to be that important. I just don't want a complete circle. Oh, you know what? All right, that took care of that. And a little bit of the white. Oh, yes. Mm hmm Okay, see what I, this is kind of, oh, it's not real runny. You can kind of see it's still uh, hot, but it's kind of settled a little bit. So, you know what? There is an idea of taking and, like, just adding in spots like that if you wanted. Oh, man, the blue. Hmm. Okay, let's try. See, if you wanted to do that. Very cool. Okay, let's do some white here. Gosh, y'all, the options are just endless. Okay, I love that. That, that couldn't have turned out any better right there. And I love the blue here that it added there. I really like that a lot. And blue is very pretty. It's such a deep, deep color. Very good. Okay, I think I'm getting at a stopping point. And if I wanted to, I could really drag, but I don't think I want to do that because I do like what I have. So, the thing is, I don't know that that is going to dry in time for me to put a stencil over, but I really think that blue is just gorgeous on there. And you know, I might actually, uh, once this is dry, come back in with maybe another color. <clears throat> that is a very pretty color. 
That is Hampton Ochre. That would be pretty to kind of set in. Oh my gosh. And to do one of these in, in foil, um, fall colors. That would be great. See, those two would be great for fall. Hmm. That could be an idea. And do a pumpkin. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, I said I was going to show y'all some teasers. So let me get this turned back up. And okay, that's Whopper jawed. Okay. Um, I know that we're going to be doing a paint pour, okay? And um, this is going to be one of the ones that I'm going to show y'all to do. And this, uh, you can turn this into a tray. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then we're going to be doing some foil. And these are some of my uh, paint pours as well. Um, it is one of my favorite, most... To me, it's really therapy. That is the one thing that I can really just, well, anything I do, I kind of lose myself. But uh, the paint pours are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and there are so many different things that you can do. So um, that just kind of gives you a little bit of a teaser of what's coming. But I will show y'all how to do the tray whenever we do the paint pour. So, um... I guess that is it, and um, if y'all have any questions, I'll hop on and see what I can do about answering them, and um, oh, I guess I need to turn my pan off. It's kind of warm. And again, Joy, thank you so much for having me here. I really do appreciate it, and uh, I'll see what we can do, come up with uh, for later on, and y'all have a blessed evening, and I enjoyed being here. Good night, y'all.